be working on making an Among Us character. Now, as you can see, this right here is a basic Among Us character. However, we're going to take it to another level and add the bone and cut it in half. Also, if you look under here, you can see that it's hollow. That way it'll fit over this part. In fact, let me see if I can just show you. Wow, that's really slow. I'm going to use the shift button and drag it over here. That's how it's supposed to go. And it has to be done a certain way, otherwise it will not fit. So let me just move that back. All right, so let's get started. We're going to be using this pill, which can be found not in basic shapes, but in design starters. And here it is. Uh, it's called a capsule. And this capsule is going to be measuring 27 by 27 and 53. So when I first made this one, what I took, I took three parts. I took a cylinder and two spheres. So you can see here the separation of the sphere on top and the sphere on the bottom. But when I found this capsule, I thought, let me check to see if I can make the same thing or if this is exactly what I just made. And it was the exact measurements. I tried to put it inside and it was perfect. So. There you go, there's your pill. Let me just move this over a little bit and let's work with our new pill here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change it and make it blue. Let's move that over there and this is gonna be moved over here for later reference. Let's make it blue. So here it is. Wow, it looks much better in white, but here's blue. All right, so now we're gonna be working with a paraboloid. If you don't know what that is, it's this white one right there. The measurements we're gonna be using same as this one right here, which are going to be 13.5 and 20. So let's change it to 13.5 and 20. Let me hit enter. There it is. It doesn't look the same, right? Let's change it to blue already. There it is. So right here, I'm going to move this back just enough. Now, the reason it doesn't look exactly the same is because this one's also stretched out to a pretty high level. That's 36. Whereas this one is 20, so I'm going to put 36 here. And now it's looking a lot, a lot like the other one. I'm going to move that back a little bit. There you go. And I'm just going to check the dimensions here because it looks a little bit different. 13 and 20, 13 and 20. All right. I'm fine with that. Let's go one more here, 36. And this one is 36. And let's check the height. Let's move this over here. Oh, I hate when that happens. I'm gonna go from here, that way I can control it better. Shift and go, and let's check the heights on this one. They are both the same height, so I'm gonna hit Control Z to go get that back. I'm gonna duplicate this one, uh, Control D, and then I'm gonna hit Shift and drag this over here. All right, so there we go, roughly the same. I don't know, for some reason this one looks thicker, don't you think? I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move the leg out just to see if it is a paraboloid, it is. But it doesn't look like this one. But they are the same. So strange, I'm gonna click on that. Let's see if we have anything to change over here. Nope, we're good. All right, let's just make sure everything's even before we move on. Yep. Oh, I see what's different. This needs to be moved out more to the right. That looks a little bit better. This one's gonna be moved out over here. Now in other Among Us, oh, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You see how it, there's a slight curvature here and the leg is just under that curvature. I'll move it out a little bit so it's right under that. Now I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna zoom in here. And I want to make sure that it's just under this line right here by moving it out with the arrow keys. All right, I'm a little bit better with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're good. Okay, so this right here is the next step, and that is just a sphere. Let's make it white. And I believe it's 20 by 20 by 13. And let me check this one by 12. All right, so 20. 20 and just 12. When you drag it onto the onto this 
bed it actually is 20 by 20 so that's great all right so not sticking out as much as i like so i'm gonna use the arrow key and drag it forward a little bit and i could tell by these very blocky looking things that i haven't maximized this so i'm going to maximize the steps to make it smoother Ooh, smoother all right so that's good and set as you can tell we're we're just flying through this now here's the backpack for the backpack, I dragged one of these regular cubes and I changed the radius. The radius makes it look a lot better. Uh, looks like close to five would be good. All right. And the steps, I'm going to make them maximize. So 20. Now let's check out what the numbers are here. Seven and I believe 17. So let's do that. Let's get seven and 17 all right let's drag it over here and i didn't check the height 20 all right so we're already good let's go ahead and move this up and let's move it down a little bit now i'm gonna move it closer to the body all right that's oh not centered let me move that over here that is better all right so let's change the color and there it is so essentially i have an among us character if you're happy with this most people would be like ecstatic over it but i expect my students to go above and beyond and do the next part so let's go ahead and move this guy over we are done with you thank you for doing your service now this is how you make the other part let's Go ahead and drag this and make that the center focus okay now this is how you make this right here um this two separate parts i'm going to drag one of these over <clears throat> and all i'm going to do is move this so it goes past it and in front past it in front the height i'm going to make it 25. all right so 25 now i'm going to drag this so essentially I'm, what i'm doing is making sure it covers the bottom all right we're good there Oops, right there. So before I do anything else, let me uh, move this out of the way here. I'm gonna duplicate this. And duplicate. And I'm gonna move it over to the side. Let me get a better view of this. I'm gonna move it, move it over. I'm gonna hit Shift and move the, the arrow right there. All right, now I've got two of the exact same. This one is there. And I'm going to duplicate this one and raise it. Now, I could try to guess, or I can just hit 25 down here, and that's what I'm going to do. Theoretically, these are perfectly aligned. Nothing else we could do to make it any better. They should be. <clears throat> now, something that's very important, I'm going to just drag this over here. Hit Shift and then drag over here. That kind of worked. I'm not sure why I didn't do it perfectly, but you know what? I can just adjust, adjust it myself. I need the head to be covered too. Let's check everything around here. All right. So you can see what I'm, I'm about to do. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to select everything here. And I am going to group it. So that's one half. And then I'm going to group that section right there. All right, looks like we got our parts. Now let's go ahead and try to make them exactly, ooh, that's really close, <clears throat> aligned. And I'm, just to make sure, I'm gonna click on this that says yes, and this also. Now, I'm not sure if you notice this, but I can tell right away these are not aligned. Can you see that? Not aligned. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the little snap grid markers here and I'm going to turn it off, which means now I can just adjust it with the arrow in the smallest possible increments. And right now I'm pressing down the arrow and it's moving slightly, very slightly. So now when it touches it and it just makes a black line, then I know it is perfect. Now on the right hand side, it's not aligned, but on the left, we can move it over a little bit. 
top right there. Now I'm just going to check the back, making sure it's all good and it looks good so far. All right, let's go ahead and look at the front and we have two pieces. Now this is where it gets interesting. Please make sure you follow these steps. Instead of turning the snap grid off, it's going to stay on, but this time we're going to go two millimeters. Okay, two millimeters. That what happens is when you click on the two millimeters, when you click on something and you want to move it, if you move the arrow key, it moves two millimeters at a time. Now it's not really that important right now, but it will be later. All right, I'm going to make this part right here next by dragging the cylinder right here, and luckily the cylinder will be exactly the size that we want it to be. Now it's probably too tall, so let me just move this up and then drag it down. Looks like 14, maybe a little bit more. Oh, one thing I'm going to change before we do anything else is I'm going to make it as smooth as possible by increasing the size. Yes, perfect. All right, that's good right there, but if you can tell, it's not centered. So I'm going to move it over with the arrow. Look, if I move it to the right, it's not centered. Move it to the left, not centered. So I'm going to change this part right here to one and move it over a little bit. Okay, that's not bad, but I want it over more. And if you can tell, this backpack's a little bit off. It wasn't completely centered. You guys make sure you deal with that when you are doing this. All right, that is good right there. Now I'm going to take a capsule, I believe it was, from here, capsule. And do I have a thickness here? What did I have? Oh, let me make this the center focus. Whoa, way too big. All right, 5.2 and 11 looks like. So let's just go ahead and get started with that part. 5.2, 5.2, and 11. All right, let's drag this up and let's make it centered. Now this time I can make this centered, so I'm gonna use this and make that centered and that centered. Okay, now I know it's centered. We're good. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit higher and then I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna drag this to 45 degrees if it'll let me. Oops. So shift, oh, forgot one thing. I need to make it smaller. So let's go ahead and drag this to about six. Six, all right, I'm gonna drag it up a little bit. I think six might not be enough. Let's go ahead and make that seven. All right, now I'm gonna rotate this 45. And there it is. So, oh, that's so weird. All right, let's look at the front here and let's move back. I'm gonna move this over to the right with the arrow keys. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna duplicate this. Click here and I'm gonna mirror this. And it's gonna mirror this way. And then I'm gonna use the arrow key to move it over here. All right, we're almost done with this. All right. You know, I've gotta say, I am not happy with those bones. I'm gonna redo this just not happy and what's I what I can tell that's not good is that it's let me make sure I'm clicking on them it's just not big enough oops it's not tall enough let me uh, move this up so that one let's make that I thought I made it eight seven I'm gonna make it eight this time oh click the wrong one sorry this one right here the center I'm going to try and get the center there it was seven Let's try, let's, you know what, let's keep it at nine. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and move this here. Now 45, shift and 45. I'm going to move it over with the arrows. And I'm going to duplicate this one and then uh, flip it this direction. Move it with the arrows. Now I am liking that a lot better. I'm not sure if you see a difference, but I certainly do and I'm liking it. I'm gonna select both of them and then just move them down a little bit, just a little bit right there. All right, I like it, but we are not done. 
I'm going to, let's see, duplicate this, duplicate so it stays in place, and then I'm going to make it transparent. I'm going to move this straight up. Okay, straight up out of the way. Okay, there, fine. Now I'm going to select these two right here, these three things, and make them into one piece. Okay, any second? Okay, it is now one piece. Good. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move, move this down. I want the top part to be just above the bone. So let's make it right there. Also, I need this whole thing to be slightly bigger than this circle right here. Because if you make it the exact same size when it prints, it will not fit. So, make that 22 and enter. And I'm going to just drag it over. 20, 22 on this side too. Now, I want this part to be right over there. Now, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking around here to see if it's centered. I'm going to make it a lot darker so I can see it. There it is. Okay, right there. Now I'm going to go to the top so I can see a better view of this. And it looks like it's not centered. See how it, you can see a lot of this, but nothing up here. So I'm going to use the arrow key to try to get a perfect circle around the circle. I think that might be it right there. Oh, even better. Okay. Now I've got <clears throat> an equal distance of shade around there. I'm going to move this part back up over the bone, over the bone. Now here's a problem. I see a little bit of bone, but it's not all the way down. So here's what I got to do. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. And actually it does not matter if it goes through here, but it's got to clear the bone. Very important. It's got to clear this part. Okay. <clears throat> now this one here, before we move it back, I'm going to change it back to two. Why? Because now that it's two, I can just use the arrow key and do this. And I already know it's perfectly aligned. Now here's the hard part. How do I get this part, the top part, to be aligned or selected with what's inside? Here's the trick. This is going to be moved to the left along with the bone. And look what gets left behind. That's right. Only the part that I want grouped together. And if all works out, there should be a hole right there. And now, when this prints, this one here will be able to go in here, and it will print like that. That, my friends, is how you make an Among Us crewmate. Have a good day.